Imagine is a better video editor than me. It happened, it happened really fast. I tried this product four months ago and it wasn't there. Now it is there and it's better than I can do. Uh, so right now it's color correction. So the color correction is better than I can do, uh, which kind of makes sense because they're coming from Imagine for photography. And if you use the link down below, you can actually use this system for free, which is amazing. So while it's still in beta, it is completely free. I don't know what the pricing looks like once it gets out of beta. So use it now, see if it works for you because it's really, really awesome. Uh, also, if you do use the link below, you get for the, the photo side of things, you get 1500 free edits. So if you are also a photographer, you can use it for that. Or if you just want a few stills to match or maybe you have some thumbnails or whatever and you wanna make everything nice and cohesive, you can use Imagine for editing on that side. And if you do sign up to be any sort of paid subscriber, you also get access to my full Imagine profile as well. It's usually $250 on its own. You get it for free if you've signed up through that link. Now let's walk you through the video system. Imagine video, so if you are an Imagine photography user, it's a different app as of right now. And while it's starting out in uh, just color correction, I did see in the Facebook group that it's actually going to be doing clip selection as well. So this is something that uh, my friend Tyler has experimented with when it comes to just making it a little more automated for your clip selection. So it'll trim out parts that, with, that are in focus and people smiling or, or people looking at the camera and no backs of heads. It will select to its best ability and give you, uh, maybe it's not gonna give you a tight timeline, but it's gonna give you maybe 10 minutes of usable for you to trim down to four minutes. Uh, so I'm hopeful that that's coming to Imagine as well. So maybe by the time you're watching this in the beta, you're also gonna have access to clip selection as well because this, this product tends to move pretty fast. So what I've done already is I've gone through and I've made this highlight video. So this highlight video is done. So I will show you how I do color correction and it's quite funny, I think. I don't know, is it funny? Um, so theoretically, the way that you're gonna wanna do it is you're probably gonna wanna go into whatever workspace up here. You're gonna wanna go into color. You're gonna wanna do everything all professional. I just drag an adjustment layer and then I throw my clean 2021 preset. And if you have access to the members website, you have all my LUTs or if you've bought the Taylor Jackson Method course. I'll put a link down below to that as well with a bit of a discount. So if you do wanna learn how I do both photography and video at the same time. So I use Clean 2021, roll it down to about 85% and that's kinda of it. And then usually on the adjustment layer, what I'll do is I'll drag it across the entire timeline as you can see here. So there's a few cuts in it. And then I will open this for basic correction so I have easy access to these controls here, specifically exposure and white balance if I'm being a bit lazy maybe. And then I will go through and say for instance, right here, I wanna do something to this clip. I set it up so that I have the, uh, the cut tool set to H, and then down here I will just adjust whatever I need to do, just specifically only on that clip. So the, I just cut the adjustment layer whenever needed. Um, and that's how I do color correction. And you might laugh and be like, ha ha ha, that's so funny. But now we're gonna get a lot more professional and I'm gonna do it more properly and a lot better actually, like significantly better. I was, um, it's, I, I think there's something that you have to be like 60% better for anyone to ever consider switching. Uh, this is more than 60% better for me. So you have a few options here of different styles that you can use. Um, they're adding more and more all the time. And eventually I assume you're gonna be able to build your own. Um, as of right now, you do have a few styles. So what do we wanna do? We wanna do Modern Muse, right? And you use Profile. So what you do is you close your Premiere project and then you come in here to New Wedding Highlight and you select what sequence is. So I do clips on one and then highlight film on the other and then click Color Correct. Here we go, that's it, that's all you do. So now it looks like it's gonna be about 10 minutes, nine minutes for me to upload this entire Premiere project and have it editing. And then I don't know what the official timeline is to get it back, but overall it's pretty quick and you'll have your project back. And we're doing a cooking show now where I can snap. And look at that, we're done. So now opening up the Premiere project, this is what your edits look like. So while you do have the, the edit that Imagine did, you still have all your regular controls. So if you need to bump exposure or change white balance, uh, it's all there for you. Now I'm gonna show you some non-edited clips with the edited clips and you're gonna see, wow, Imagine is really, really darn good for video. Before after, before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after. So there it is, significantly better than what I could do already and it's only getting better every single day. So by the time that I've recorded this and put this on the internet, the system is already better, which is great. Thanks to the magic and the wonder of technology. If you are interested, head on over to the link down below 
and get started with the beta while it's free. And if you do sign up with the link below, you also get some editing credits for photography as well as my profile. And I'm gonna do my best to also make a video profile on that clean 2021 preset. So I don't know how the video side will work, but the way the photo side works is you just send it a bunch of edits that you've done in the past and it'll see, okay, hey, backlit image. This is what you did last time. I'm gonna do it again next time I see a similar image. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same for video. So I will build that out as soon as possible. And I will include it to you for free if you do sign up with that link. And if you do sign up and you turn into a paid user, uh, you will get access to my Imagine photography profile as well, usually $250 on its own. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give Imagine Video a try while well, it's still in beta and it's still free, but I'm excited once it gets into that clip selection. So right now it's awesome because it speeds up my time and it makes my work a lot more professional and just consistent across the board, but I am very excited for when it starts to speed up my actual clip selection process as well. If you are interested in seeing how I use Imagine for photos, uh, I'm gonna put a, there's a video on the screen right now. You can go watch it, full wedding day, how, how I do it. See you over there.